Tracker weather starts now with meteorologist Eric Johnson. Welcome back and Merry Christmas. Hope you got a chance to spend it with some family and friends. Now, this Christmas, we only made it up to seven degrees. That happened just before midnight. We were actually on either side of zero degrees throughout the day today. It's about th uh, almost 30 degrees below average. This time last year, we were at 47 degrees for high temperatures. We're actually 12 degrees above average. But for the rest of tonight, we are going to see a light snow developing throughout the state. And it is going to be a chilly one, especially if you're on the high line. That's where we'll be seeing those temperatures getting as low as six to even some areas getting as low as 10 below. But those wind chills making it feel closer to 20 below. And then over in Lewistown, we'll start to see those snow showers developing closer to daybreak. But you should see those snow, snow showers developing in Shoto just after midnight, expecting a low of seven below there. And we do have a winter weather advisory in effect for much of central Montana now. And this is because we're anticipating a general one to three inches. Not going to be a major event by any means, but with those colder temperatures, that snow is going to pile up on the roadways rather quickly. Now, we also have a wind chill advisory that is now in effect for Great Falls and extends all the way out into northeastern Montana for Glasgow. That's where we're expecting some wind chills as low as 30 below. That's for Sunday night into Monday morning. And then we also have a wind chill warning in that darker shade of blue. And that's where we can expect wind chills of 40, uh, potentially up to 45 below zero. Again, that's going to be Sunday night into Monday morning. So waking up Monday morning, we'll see those very chilly temperatures along the high line. And then we do start to see things rebounding a bit towards the middle part of the week. But then it just gets colder over in northeastern Montana, where we could see some of those wind chills actually approaching 50 below zero. So you're really going to want to limit your outdoor time to anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes if you can. Now, these are the expected air temperature lows in Great Falls. We're expecting a low of 21 below on Monday. Again, not factoring in wind, and we'll slowly start to see those overnight lows rebounding. But again, we're going to see several days with below zero temperatures. Some days not even making it to the zero uh, degree mark throughout the day. But let's time out this snow for you. So as we head into tonight, we'll start to see that snow really moving into central Montana just after midnight. And then it will continue and head spreading up into the high line. It will take a little bit longer to get into places like Lewistown and Glasgow. That likely happens tomorrow morning. And we'll kind of see this band of snow that develops and then shifts into eastern Montana. Actually going to bring some good snows over to the Dakotas, likely some places getting upwards of a foot. But not seeing any of that in our neck of the woods, just looking at a light snow. And then we do clear things out. To start off the week, could see a couple of flurries, but overall a pretty clear day for Monday. So as far as accumulations, again, the highest amounts will be over in northeastern Montana as that storm pulls away and strengthens. Could see some areas topping three or four inches, but again, not a major snow accumulation. And as we head into Monday, we'll see that very chilly air over us, likely not making it to zero degrees here in Great Falls. And then as we head into Tuesday, slowly seeing our temperatures rebounding a bit. We're getting up to 10 degrees under mostly sunny skies, and that's going to continue into Wednesday. High temperature of eight degrees, but really seeing those temperatures Rebounding as we get closer to the new year, we're back into the lower 20s by Thursday. Another chance of some snow showers New Year's Eve. And then we are moderating our temperatures a bit for New Year's Day. And then in Helena, it looks like we'll actually stay above zero degrees for our high temperatures, but overnight lows getting well below zero. And we'll see those temperatures moderating with snow showers returning by the end of the week. Take storm trucker weather with you. Download your free 